we're back with another YouTube video. And in today's video, you guys, we're going to be talking about the pros and the cons that I think come into play when you want to become an entertaining dancer or if you already are an entertainer. You already know what I'm finna say. I hope y'all having y'all a great day. And if you are having a great day, just let me know in the comments, like what you doing, where you at, what's your name, what's the city, how your day going. If it's going bad, don't comment. <clears throat> Uh-uh, it's not that type of channel. If it's going bad, just read the comments and all the people who having them a good day and be like, you know what, today's not that bad. If you got food, water, a place to stay, you're not having a bad day at all. <laughs> just let y'all know. <laughs> uh, bye, I'm always taking smack. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I think that's my, what they be saying on that post, that's my love language. So, <laughs> we're gonna always have a vape in a video and we're gonna always have some water <laughs> mm. well it's okay at least i don't have a nasty shirt y'all already know it is the water so stay hydrated kids number one pro tip <laughs> you have the type of job that allows you to network let me explain nine times out of ten ain't no homeless man no broke man <clears throat> Or just a man who ain't got that little leisure money set to the side, who's already at a point in his life to where he can go mess it off at the club, is gonna be in there. So nine times out of the ten, the dudes who are coming to the club, y'all, probably have <clears throat> 401k or probably got some good insurance, probably pay a mortgage, good credit, entrepreneur, men who are established. Nine times out of ten, they're usually, most of my clients are over 30. <clears throat> now, there will be some dudes who'll be like 20 to 30, and they're just so mature, like they're just set, that they come in there and you're thinking they're 35, and the boy be like 20, 21, 22, 23. It'd be a lot of college kids who come in there very smart, mature, handle their business, they understand what they come in there for, and you're able to network, like, people come from different cities, people come from different schools, people come from different type of professions, y'all, so, it's kind of like, you ever seen um, the comment that was like, instead of going to school to be a doctor, they end up having a friend that was a doctor, and they would ask, like, certain questions, or they like, you become friends with your doctor, you ask certain questions for, like, the next time, Kind of like how it is, instead of paying for a visit. So it's like me, I don't have to go to school for, let's say I want to learn how to do like, like, like be an accountant, do coding. It's a dude at the club. He be like trying to teach me how to do coding sometimes when he come in there, bit by bit. So it's like, folks be paying for seminars all day to learn how to do something small. Okay, let's say somebody do art and they're showing me pictures of step by step them doing some art. Let's say somebody do YouTube, they trying to, you network, you can connect with people. It, the scenery is not just about. It feels like you're ready. It feels like you're ready. It's not just that. Like, now, if you go in there not understanding that this is a perfect place to network. Prime example, it'd be some dudes who come in there who be like, you know, add me on this, add me on that, add me on this. Not social media, just like, for example, YouTube. And you know I me, mean? I'll support, I'll add them on YouTube. Um... I, sometimes I tell my girl one, sometimes I really don't because you don't really want to make everything about you at the club. It's really about the client. It's not about you. The client thinks it's about you, but if you're smart and you make money, it's about him. <laughs> it's about pleasing him when he won't. You talk about him, bring him up, stuff like that. Because you're able to network, these dudes are coming from everywhere. Like, it was just Labor Day weekend. Folks was here to see their family. Folks was here from the military because they got like a three or four day, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's a militant base, like 30 minutes from the club, like a Navy base. Um, it's, folks come from everywhere. <clears throat> Just the holidays. Let's say Thanksgiving finna come up. This is the season that we're about to get so many dudes that come because it's August, September, October, November. People are coming back for the holidays to visit their family from different states, cities, you know, like, don't leave, anything. This is the, this that season, this that money season. Usually after school here is the money season. Okay, so for that being said, ooh, I'm trying to make sure my stuff is on. So with that being said, as long this is the con to the fact that you have access to network. Because anybody with an ID who got a couple feet and who are of legal age, which at our club is 21 in uh, Tennessee, 
and they have access to enter the club. They do not do no criminal screenings. Okay, so let me give you an example. About a year ago, it was this dude who used to come into the club. He was a regular, right? Now, I can tell this story because he ain't never spent the dollar on me. He like girls who are vulnerable, who be drugged out, or he can do anything to. We're just keeping it raw and real on this channel. And so, he got a type. Every time I go downtown, I see him at all the clubs downtown. Um, he's always somewhere with the same types of girls, right? Coming to the club, those money. Well, apparently I see him, I ain't seen him in like six, seven months. And a girl had showed me one day about how, I guess, you know how like you can go on your phone and check like criminals? And we was looking, and she was like, girl, ain't this so and so? I'm like, yo. We look at it, we click on it, this boy has a rape charge. So I ain't seen him in six months. He was coming to the club when I say on a Wednesday, on like a Friday and a Saturday. About a year ago, about a year, a year and a half ago. A little minute ago, y'all. So why, not too long ago, like two, three weeks ago, he coming to the club, walking in there straight as day. And I'm thinking to myself like, this nigga literally got a rape charge. But they probably, either he could bond out or it was a year ago, you know, they could have just, somebody bought him out, he on trial, don't really know how the legal stuff work, really don't care to know. But prime example, rapists are allowed to come in there. First of all, he used to be a regular a whole year ago. Second of all, even if he wasn't, ain't nobody finna let you come into the club and be like, hey, do you have a criminal record? Oh yeah, I'm a five time felon. Oh, come on right in. These are grown women that, you don't know. So when you talk to these men, if you just feel like, oh, I got one up on them. I'm trying to get them drunk. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Let me let you know that they're plotting on you too. The same way you're plotting on a nigga, they're plotting on you too. So when I say no criminal training's done, I've seen this done plenty of times. A customer will go to jail or just a regular civilian come to jail or come fresh out of jail. A nigga last week was telling me, Ooh, baby, I just got out the pen, just did 16 years, blah, blah, blah. My cousins came and picked me up. We from Dallas, blah, blah, blah. We trying to have a good time. What you on to? You like your bad water drink? No, nope, and don't. You just did six, You just did 16 years. Nigga, I'm barely over 16 years old. Like, you're probably rough. You're ready. Uh-uh. Like, and then the fact that you're telling me, you don't want to give a dance. You gonna give me some money when I get on stage, baby. You been, but you, your cousins got you, you, you down. Like this boy was dressed. I don't know if he borrowed his cousins' clothes or if they took him shopping or if them the clothes when he got out. He was looking fresh as hell, but it didn't look like no 16 years ago type style. It looked like he just put that shit on, and they're just letting him. You know what I mean? So prime example, you hear this all the time. Folks will tell you that they went to prison and changed their life around. They a new man. The club don't know. They don't care. This is a grown people environment. So you feel like you're going in there doing something. You're not doing nothing. Number two. I'm trying to get y'all the details because I need y'all to get it. If you get it, comment, get it. If you don't, just click about the video because it's bigger than just going in there and shaking a little. <laughs> no, you got to know who you're dealing with. Okay, so number two, I said, the pro would be the job is mainly about your ability to sell a fantasy. Listen, when it comes to the clients, they're not they're not your boyfriend, they're not your man. Y'all ain't finna go get married. Everything you do has to be, uh, what do you call it? Beneficial to you. If it's, once it starts being beneficial, there's no, no more reason for y'all to even be chit-chatting. And if a man is talking like he your boyfriend or like he's your man, go along with it. But if he's not benefiting you in any type of way, please have enough common sense. Benefiting, baby, that's gonna be a whole nother story. Let's just say it, okay? Con to that is if you are not good in sales or holding a conversation, then this might not be the hustle for you. Okay, so good in sales meaning this is a Maserati. This is a Maserati. This right here is a Maserati. This Maserati, baby, this is a big body Maserati, okay? Now, if you are a car salesman, and if you got a family of six coming in there trying to buy a Honda Civic, you can talk them into a Maserati, but if they ain't got Maserati money, then they don't have Maserati money, and they gotta, they gotta, they gotta sell them for a Honda Civic, a Honda truck, a van, something like that. Ain't no way you finna think you finna buy a two, three hundred thousand dollar car. Your credit is five hundred. So see, some men, even if you sell the fantasy, if that's 
too much for a man's pocket, then you can't, okay? <laughs> Just saying, you can't. Now, if you cannot hold a conversation with, holding a conversation, so let's say it's a man who coming in there into the dealership, because this is basically what sales is. Let's say a man's coming into the dealership, and let's say that he has great credit, really ain't even got to put no money down to get the Maserati. And let's say he's trying to get you to tell him about the car, you know, show him different cars, help him, you know, get your get your commission, get your sale. And you can't even hold a conversation to get the, the, the customer, like, brought into... You sell the customer, then you sell the product. Let me explain that to you. That's a whole other video. But you sell the customer, then you sell the product. So if you're selling a car and you can't even hold a conversation to figure out what type of stuff they like, what type of car they're looking for, you know, all that, he might as well go to a whole nother dealership with a whole nother message. Uh, yeah, so number three, a pro, this one is simple. It's a great hustle. That has fast cash. Yeah, we don't fast cash boys. Yeah. Um, a con would be the club does not train you after signing your contract. You gotta pay attention to how the room moves. Let me explain something to you. It's a lot of girls that it could be money in the room, and it ain't even necessarily like they're that they're sitting at a table getting drunk or that they're just don't know what they're doing. Some of them girls have been there for about if you that long within a month and it's a girl who come in there who's been working there a month and she click on like this, that means that she's probably understanding this is my bread and butter, this is how I eat. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's like if you've been there for six, seven months and you still ain't making no money, then you probably need to go work somewhere else because you're there for the wrong reason. You're there for sisterhood. You're there because you don't get enough attention at home. You're there because you need some friends. You're there because you're trying to find some men who give you attention because your boyfriend or your baby daddy or something is mistreating you. You're not there to get no money. You're not, okay? And I'm not gonna sit over here and lie to you like you are, you're not. Now, in terms of that, you're not watching the room. If you can only talk to one man, right? For example, let's say I have a regular and I can only make money from a regular. And let's say that if a big baller came in, I don't know how to have a conversation. So I'm swearing, he ain't got no money, he broke. No, you only know how to talk to a certain type of man. Listen, it's like, I'm like a little chameleon, and I don't know if it's because I'm a Pisces or what. Eh. But baby, listen, water you either float or you drown, okay? Like, water is very adaptable. You can turn me, you can freeze me, drink me, sublimation. Evaporation. You can do a lot of stuff with water, okay? I'm a water sign. So, I can sit over here and be in everything, paying attention to everything, and I'm very multitasking. So, I mean, if I meet one man who act like this, I can act one way. Another man act like this, act this way, that way, that way. You cannot be stuck in your ways because every man who comes into that club, different background, different lifestyle, uh, different lifestyle, <laughs> come from a different city or state, Brought up different ways. They like different type of women, different stuff sexually. They have a different testosterone levels. Like some dudes you breathe, we we just be. Some dudes you'll sit over there grinding for like two songs, barely can get hard. And then boom, the third song he get hard and then he'll nut through his pants. And you're just sitting over here like, what is going on? So some dudes, they'll spend five, six hundred dollars, won't even get hard. They don't come there to get hard. They come there for entertainment entertainment not we're on the hub we're you know what i mean not none of that we on only fan no nah, none of that some people they really do like entertainment same way you go to the movies it's more than just shaking your tail but if you've never been inside of a club or if you don't comprehend the hustle in the club while in the club then technically any type of opinion that you have on entertainers or dancers is out of there if you've never known somebody that works in the club you have no type of opinion on none of that. Now, get you a few lessons, and then, you know, of course, we could actually talk about something. <laughs> so, number four would be going along with number three, meaning it's fast cash will be the pro. Who don't like fast money? You're punching the clock for 40 hours for every two weeks. I don't know. What is it, 40 hours a week? I don't know, because I don't work 40 hours a week. I don't know if it's 40 hours a week or 40, 80 hours a month. How long y'all work? to make $4,000 a month, $5,000 a month. I don't know, I think this is what y'all make. 
and y'all talk so bad about us for making fast cash, all you gotta do is go to the gym or I don't know, where we're trying Some of them hoes in there are not even in shape, to be honest. Some of them, you gotta know how to talk, hustle, make the club money. When you make money, the club makes money. You don't have to be cute in the face. You don't have to, baby, you can walk to work. Girls walk to work. Everything that people be saying is an excuse. Don't be scared, it's holes in there scared. And as soon as you meet one customer who give you a lot of money just for being cute, or for reminding him of somebody or his first wife, his ex-girlfriend in high school, and he just, oh my God, or you're just so sweet, then yeah, baby, when he run you that money, you gonna oh no, I ain't scared no more, cause scared money makes, scared money don't make no money. Uh, uh. So a con of that, a con of that would be that it's very risky. And if you like stability, this not the job for you because we have very inconsistent seasons, weekends. Let me explain something to you. It could be good as hell in the morning for every girl who came before eight and bad for the girls who came at nine. And it could be a slow morning for the girls who came before eight and the girls who make at nine, the girls who came in after nine made a wreck. And it could be a day that one girl in the room make a wreck and the rest of the hoes only make three, four hundred dollars. It could be a day that every bitch in there makes a wreck. It could be a day that for four days straight, the club is slow, and the one day you don't show up, everybody in there make money. The whole weekend is packed. It could be one good night, and then the next night is bad. So it's kind of like gambling, baby. You cannot predict at all. Ooh, I'm finna go to work tonight, it's finna be good. Unless you already have a guaranteed client coming up there and you know how much he finna give you, or if you've already got them lined. Some girls, they don't come to work unless they got all their customers lined up. They'll tell each of their customers to come at a certain time. Yo. Cause that means you have your customers and then you have like the ability for walk-ins. So let's say you have like, you do you do hair, you do nails. You got five five clients spread out throughout the day, but you also take walk-ins? Yes. Number five, I say the best one for last. <laughs> Y'all, when I say you make your own schedule, <laughs> but if you, it says you make your own schedule if you wanted a last minute vacay, no need to request days off or use your PTO girl. <laughs> Cause I know y'all love, uh-uh, baby, I got me some paid tab off. Ooh, we my PTO, yup. Baby, I ain't no PTO over here. You the BOSS, okay? You the BOSS. There are managers at the club. The managers manage the payroll, the bartenders, the door girls, the bouncers, and the other managers. You are your own manager. Unless you got you a P or something, and he's managing you, managing your money, when you're independent, when you're independent, when you're a real boss, BOSS, baby, you're your... What manager? You telling me I gotta come in at what time? I'm not coming in at that time. Oh, my friend wanna go eat somewhere? Okay, I can go. You wanna go get drunk before you go to work? Then go to work? Okay. You wanna go eat somewhere? You felt like, oh, I had a good day, I'm going to work. Oh, when your customers call saying, hey, I'm gonna be in town. Okay, I'm gonna go to work. You don't have to wait until the club schedules you to go to work. Depending on what city and state. Depending on what type of club you work at. Some clubs pay out be so high, they definitely don't need you to tell them a schedule. <laughs> definitely don't. For what? You finna pay us anyways. Um. Okay, y'all, so the con, that's the last one. Oh, 22, mm. So the con to you not having no schedule is that you become spoiled. It's that simple, spoiled. You're not gonna wanna get a regular job and they tell you to get up at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. They tell you to come to work one to ten. They tell you to come to work from three to nine. You're not gonna want to come to work when? Mm -mm. But I'm used to coming to work when I want to, getting up when I want to, doing all of my errands. If I chose to go to work at 11 o'clock tonight, I could. I'm gonna pay more, but I could. You know what I mean? Like some people just not getting off at 11. So, those are five points. This was the part one to this video, y'all. I'm definitely gonna be making a part two, but I wanna be able to explain this stuff as I go. And the video would've been like 40 minutes, so we're not even gonna do that. So I'm gonna make a whole nother part two, maybe in like a few weeks, depending on if y'all want it or not. Just let me know in the comments. And I hope this information <laughs> helps y'all. I'm about to go have me a wonderful day, and I hope y'all do too, so. Love y'all.